Uh, what's it like coming out here, getting to work, getting grinding again? Uh, it's fun, you know, can, coming back with my family, competing, you know, um, making offense better, defense making offense better, you know, it's just fun. Uh, obviously, expectations here are high. What are the kind of expectations amongst yourselves? Uh, I say state championship. I mean, that's always the goal. Coming here my freshman year, that's always been the thing, state championships and nothing less or it's not a successful season. Coach was talking about how the defense is kind of ahead of the offense. Uh, where are you guys at on a defense and how kind of cohesive is this returning so many guys? Uh, it's fun because it's not really much of a learning curve. Like, basically, we just came in during off season, We got our new stuff and we just had fun doing it, you know, so. Up, up front, obviously, with Lawrence a couple years ago, I mean, how much pride is this on that, off, that defensive line putting in the work to make sure this defense performs? Uh, it's fun. And then talking to him, he always telling us how we can get better and stuff that we can do better. So it's fun trying to, you know, resemble them or try to do better than them. Uh, we didn't see Randy Holtz out here, but what kind of a monster is he on the offense line? Because you go against him almost every day. Yeah, he, he's something. He's something. He's fun to go against. But, you know, in my eyes, I always tell him that he sucks. He might not, but he sucks to me. How much of a focal point is he on that offense to, I mean, the offense is young. How much can a guy like that, especially on the offensive line, kind of move mountains? Uh, he really helps younger players. That's like stepping into a big role this year. He helps them learn stuff and helping them understand. He really helps like John and them read plays that they can't see or read stuff. So say he's more of a like experience and that helps them out. First couple days of practice. First couple days of practice, we're really trying to work hard, get the fundamentals down, because once we get the fundamentals down, we can go into advancing our offense into a more uh, diverse kind of offense. How much is there a learning curve with so many new guys on the offensive front? Uh, they're really intelligent. The new guys on the offense are intelligent, so they're picking it up fast, so it's going really good. Uh, obviously, Snyder, you're always playing well, always competing for that victory bell. What are the expectations amongst you guys? We're trying to win it all, win it all, undefeated all the way through the year. How how does how important is this time of year to make that happen? We just need to get the fundamentals down, like I said earlier. And once we get the fundamentals down, it'll all go good from there. We've seen the Nias last year, and, and obviously Snyder's always had a pretty good guy that runs the ball. What kind of dynamic do you bring to the table? I bring more of an agility and speed kind of uh, dynamic. Okay. Uh, obviously, there's a guy up front, big man, running behind Randy Holtz. is always pretty fun. Uh, kind of what does... What kind of monster is he on the offensive line? He's just outstanding. When he works hard, it's just the job is done every time. What's it like running behind him? It's awesome. It's just it, there's a hole every time. Well, I think, you know, we're kind of knocking off the summer routine and getting more into um, the foundation of what will, you know, make up the 2019 season, uh, crashing into each other a little bit more. And, um, you know, on Thursday we'll be able to go kind of full tilt for the first time. So I think guys are looking forward to that. But then we also have some young guys that are overwhelmed by the learning, you know, the intensity of the learning and how many more things they have to try to understand. And, you know, that makes it complicated. So it, it's, a, it's a process, and guys are going through the process. You've seen a lot of good teams here at Snyder. Kind of what traits stand out this time of year that makes them good later in the fall? Um, number one, their effort, you know. Uh, as they encounter the, the strain that we put on them mentally as, as far as the number of things we're teaching, trying to get them to grasp, and then the execution level, the consistency of it. And that, that level and that consistent performance, whatever it is, just continues to increase. So every practice, you see us getting better at certain things. And you know that's what we're striving for, and that's what we'll look to evaluate as we go through these uh, two weeks leading up to the first game. The Panthers defense always very good. How important is it to have all those guys back, and how much can you really throw at them knowing they have so much experience? Well, we just we're talking to the group, and you know the defense is ahead of the offense right now because of that experience, and we're able to do more, and uh, we're just a little bit further ahead in that teaching and learning process, and you know that at level of execution. And the offense will catch up, but uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. I think with the number of kids that we have back and playing defensively, we just we're more versatile. We're able to do some more things personnel package wise and just put guys in places that they do best have other guys do things that they do best and uh, just allows us right now you know kind of looks that we'll be a little more versatile uh, we didn't see Randy out there but obviously he's a focal point this summer he's just kind of rehabbing to get back what kind of piece is he up front to, to kind of solidify a young offense well he's a piece he's a guy that's played 26 games you know as a starting offensive lineman and we need that experience for those young guys that are, you know, trying to learn their way and trying to, to get to a level where they can be successful on Friday night, and so we need Randy to be that, 
that voice of, of experience that can help guys with things that they're going to see, to help guys push through the things that are hard, because he knows what it's like to go through a season playing up front and in the trenches. And um, we got some young guys that need that guidance, and we got some some new guys. You know, they might be seniors, but they're new guys that that haven't been in those kind of battles. And, and we're going to lean on him to be able to provide that that leadership and that experience. And I, I think it's an essential part of our our offense.